finding money that grows on trees or at least snails here we go I live in Kansas and we have these mystery snails but they're only on one lake um, they reproduce like crazy these are all a whole bunch of uh, shells that I collected from the lake I forget which one but there's only one lake here and these are all dead ones of course um, the live ones are in my fish tank because they're cool Anyway, the big ones are really cool. People who do fairies and stuff like that like these things because they can make little, um, you know, clay snails out of one side and they can have a fairy riding them and stuff. And they come in all different sizes. Let's see, here's a small one. I like the big ones personally, but whatever. There's, let's see, um, I'm not seeing any really small ones. Uh, there's one inside of one here. Oh, there, there's a couple. They do come really tiny, and then of course, really big. Here's a live one. He's all sucked in his shell right now, but um, there's oh, a couple live ones. Here's the big ones. Um, let's see. I think it's this one. It's called Curious George because he likes to move all over the place. Something else to make money on, these um, don't really grow on trees, but they um, land on them and then they fall down dead. I put them in the freezer to keep them fresh. They're cicada bugs, and they have four wings on their little bodies, and uh, you can sell them, the cicada wings, online on eBay. I do eBay, or used to do eBay a lot. Hold on a second. All right, now that I've flipped its wing back, it's all frozen, so it just snaps. There's a, there's a big wing on each side, and then there is the little wing. Don't worry, these don't bite you even when they are alive. They're just loud and obnoxious, and you wish you could just spray them. Anyway, there's a bottom wing. Oh, there you go. The little wing is under there. And the fairy makers, uh, generally, they use the two big wings, and they turn them the other way on the fairies. Like, that would be the top. Really, it's the bottom, but whatever. Anyway, um, you can sell the cicada wings. They come out in the summer, and once every 17 years, there's hundreds, millions of them. They have the 17-year brood. They're crazy. They, they're everywhere, and you just can't get a moment's peace because the sound is just overwhelming. The bigger, the better, and you want to keep them in really good condition. If you have one that's dying, the most humane way I've found is, uh, you know, if he's about dead, but you don't want to just kill him because you know, he's a live little critter. He didn't do anything to you. Just throw him in the freezer. He'll, he'll, uh, you know, just go to sleep and he'll be dead quicker. Or you can just leave him on your counter, you know, in a box or something. He'll die slow. Whatever you want. Another thing is the same place that I got these snail shells. This is just an empty one. There were a whole bunch of dead ones because people don't usually collect them. So that's good. But they had, um, we got out in the canoe and got out in the water lilies, these giant water lilies. And um, I found some, oh, <laughs> water lily seeds. And these are good. I've cracked some open and they actually are green inside and they're wonderful. And you do want to check them. You want to get the nice hard ones that are big and round and dried out. You don't want to get the little scrawny skinny ones. Here, I'll show you a scrawny, scrawny one. See how little that is? And it's not, it's misshaped. It's not big and round. But you can sell, people sell these lily pad um, seeds, like the lot of five and stuff like that, just a few of them, for several bucks on eBay. So when you have a nice, uh, you know, little collection of them, that's not a bad way to make a couple extra bucks. And of course, making money on YouTube is always fun. Here's another thing. There's these uh, black walnuts, and they turn black on the outside, and then, um, you know, they're green at first, and the, they fall off the tree, and then they turn black after a while, and then the walnut is on the inside. And um, people pay a lot of money for black walnuts, like bakers, because they can't really find them much so you can collect a whole bunch of these things and just be careful if you are taken off the hole it, it will turn your fingers black for like two weeks you cannot get it off and it goes right through the kitchen rubber gloves trust me don't do it
Here's another thing that people sell on eBay. They're called um, um, hedge apples. When I was a kid, we always called them horse apples. I don't know why, but they're just hedge apples. Um, they're supposed to keep bugs away from your house, and they just fall off the tree and land all over your yard. People have stopped by, because out by my mailbox, we have a whole bunch of them, and they ask if they can take some. <laughs> I say, oh, please, take them. The only use I have for them is my children like to roll them onto the highway and watch the cars roll them over. So that's all there is to it. Um, for me, but you can sell them. This one, I think the squirrels got to it because the squirrels eat them. They, I guess there's something in it they like and they'll eat it, but it's supposed to keep bugs away from your house if you line the outside of your house, put them around the outside, it keeps the, the bugs don't like them and uh, they'll stay away. Although, I have seen a fly sitting on one, like eating the sticky sap off of it. So, I don't know that it works for flies. 